Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, your boy Virtus here and welcome back to my Unreal Engine 4 Blueprint tutorial series. In today's video we are going to be taking a look at is valid checks inside of blueprints. Now an is valid check is going to be something that you're going to be using quite commonly within your blueprints. It's got a very important role. So essentially what this does, the is valid check, is checking to see whether or not an object is valid. Now when I say valid, Valid. What I mean by that is essentially when you're working with your code, sometimes you're going to be deleting information to sort of help out with your performance. Now, as you do that, if you try and reference a variable that is empty or not valid, rather, if it's no longer there, it is going to crash your game. So what you can do instead of that, instead of giving yourself the risk of running into an error like that, what you can do is run an is valid check to see whether or not that object is valid. If it's a real value, a real object, something that's not going to crash your game. And with this check, you can then run two pieces of code. So if it is valid, you can proceed on and do all the gameplay stuff that you need to do. And if it's not, then what you can do is just move on and do something else. It's really important and something like this can quite easily stop your game from crashing. Now, something where you would use the is valid check would be, for example, when you're working with a character. If your character dies, any references to that character, once you've destroyed it, is going to crash your game. So you want to run one of these is valid checks before an important thing like that, just to give yourself the peace of mind. And then if it's not valid, just move on to the new player character. But anyway, enough of the examples. Let's go ahead and show you exactly how you can set one of these up. So from your begin play or any other node that you're working with, just drag out and type in is valid. And then with this, you should just have the one option. Click this and then from here, it's gonna ask you for a couple of things. So the first thing here is the input object. Essentially what this is, this is the object that you are checking to see whether or not it is currently valid. Now what I've done is I'm just going to drag out from this and promote to a variable. Now what this is doing is just making a object that I can feed into here. Now bear in mind, at the moment, it's not going to have any information within it, so it is not going to be valid. The name for this that I'm going to give is called test object. And once you've created this and you've selected it in your variables tab in the left hand side here, you can see right now I've got a default value to my character. If you don't, just um, just leave it as it is. But if you clear this, there's going to be no information in there. And because there is no information, even though there's an object there, it's going to return is not valid. So let me show you exactly what I mean by that. Now to see the result of this, I'm going to create two print strings. So I'm going to create one and then press control and W to duplicate that into is valid, I'm going to simply set up a string that says is valid. And then from is not valid, I'm going to set up a string that says is not valid, just like that. And because this is hooked up to our begin play at the moment, if I compile, press play, it's going to say it is not valid. Now, if we was to select this test object of ours and put a piece of information into here, for example, the third person character, it is going to return valid because that object is alive, it's fine, it's within the level and it can access the information. So if I compile this now, with the object being set to the third person character, you are going to see in the top left hand corner with the print string, it does say it is valid. Now, this is a really important node that you guys are going to get uh, going to have to get used to using, but that is pretty straightforward and really simple. Once you get the hang of it, you will find things nice and easy. But for now, that is the end of this video. Once again, guys, thanks for watching. Stay awesome. Keep creating your boy Virtus signing out.
This video was made possible by my supporters on Patreon. If you want more videos like this, check out my Patreon page using the link in the description. To stay up to date on new releases, make sure you follow us on social media.